Hi, my name is Jen Ward and I'm the director of the Milford Youth Center and this is my Milford TV story. It's funny because I, ever since I heard about the issue going on with the funding, I kind of thought back of what my big memory of when Milford TV stepped in to support the efforts of the Youth Center and it was this, um, this period when we were fighting for our renovation where Milford TV came and they interviewed us in the importance of why we needed to save the armory building and most importantly keep it as a youth center and that's when we really became community collaborators and we ended up working um, beyond that and having kids being trained in how to use the, the, the equipment and how to edit um, the material that they create and that has lasted ever since I believe 2015, 2014, that we continue to do that every year with the after school program and we've grown even more with our recent telethons and things like that. In addition to obviously advocating for our program and then training our youth group members, Milford TV has played a huge role in helping our fundraising efforts. So we've had two annual telethon events where we've been able to raise close to $15,000 to complete um, a dance and multi-purpose media center in our basement. So it's really been Milford TV taking the lead role in, in organizing these events for us and it's items that we don't have to put on a capital campaign list um, and wait years down the road for the town to potentially cover the costs of those spaces. So we're, we're being proactive and with the help of Milford TV, really getting community partners together to get into the building, know the importance of why we wanna uh, develop this space and then really um, help with the fundraising efforts. When I was actually the youth leadership coordinator um, for the as an AmeriCorps position, I would bring the kids over and they would be trained with Liz and Dan and then it would you know, whoever was really interested in it would, would continue in the editing process. And Caitlin was one of those individuals who ended up becoming one of your interns and now works for you guys. And, and she explained that the first time she put, like, she picked up a camera was with you guys through our program. And it was due to that collaboration, you know, because we try to, at the center specifically, you know, we don't always want it to be sports driven. You know, we want to find things that kids are interested in that they might not have access to and this is a perfect example of where we have a neighbor that is willing to invite our members in and be trained and then in t return they're helping helping us advocate for our program you know these kids are bringing these cameras back into the youth center with their skills that they learned from Milford TV and then filming the programs that we do and then then we're able to now cast it on Milford TV where where people tax paying dollars they can see what we're actually doing and why they should support both programs I wouldn't know what's going on, even being a department head, sometimes what's going on at a larger scale within the town if I didn't tune in to the Monday night selectman meetings that you guys have accessible online or on, on cable. So it's those things where it still affects the youth center um, and just being knowledgeable about what's going on in your community. It's just important that we have that, that tool at our, you know, and that resource. I would say um, respectfully that I believe that this funding should not, the, the way it's allocated should not change, it shouldn't be a choice. I think um, local access television is important and I think people that are not involved in, in it the way that we are as community partners don't understand that it's more than just equipment, it's, you know, it's having trained valuable staff that know what they're doing, that are passionate about the community that they're serving and they're really reaching out to all the different local events, all the different programs to really have the community knowledgeable about what's going on. So I urge you guys to support the local access television programming and, um, and hopefully that you're getting all these messages and listening to the community who really needs it and actually utilizes and views it.